Wondering why your PowerPoint slide decks are so large? Having trouble sharing them due to those big file sizes? We've all been there. And luckily, the fix is easy. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to reduce PowerPoint file size way down. Before you start, you need a winning presentation. Your perfect option here is Envato Elements. Elements is a creative powerhouse with an unbeatable offer, unlimited downloads. That's right, you can download and use as many PPT templates as you want. They're designed by expert creators with you in mind. Now let's look at how to compress PowerPoint file size. There are actually several ways to do this. The first is to compress selected pictures. This really reduces image file size if you have large photos. Click on an image to select it, choose format here at the top, then click on the compress pictures option. You'll see these options here to delete cropped areas and reduce the resolution that you're saving. A second option is also on this menu and it lets you compress all pictures, not only those that you've selected. It's a great choice if you're working with bulk images. Click OK when you're done. Videos in particular take up a lot of PowerPoint file space. It's a good idea to limit their use for this reason. Plus, you may want to link to the videos instead of actually embedding them. As you can see here, you can add links on PowerPoint's Insert tab. Find the URL where you have your video stored online and add it as a URL. This ensures that videos take up virtually no storage space. Images really are worth a thousand words and they're vital parts of any successful slide deck, but they can also take up a lot of space. This happens when you drag and drop photos onto your slides. Instead of doing that, try using PowerPoint's Insert tab. Click on Insert here, then open up the Pictures drop-down menu. From this menu, choose Picture from File. Browse to a stored image and then click Insert to add it to your slide. This way, PowerPoint compresses the image files so that they take up less file space. Let's look at even more ways to see how to reduce PowerPoint file size. One is to save and share your slides in PDF format. This has multiple advantages. First and foremost, it reduces your file size, which is our goal here. But it also makes your slides easier to share. PDF files can be read on nearly any device and there's no need to have PowerPoint installed to view them. To do this, go to the Save As menu as you're seeing me do here. There's a variety of save options here that you can choose from. On this File Format drop-down, choose PDF and then save the file. It's that easy. Custom fonts are a big part of any slide deck, but they can also take up extra file space. Fortunately, there's an easy fix. Go up here to the PowerPoint drop-down, then choose Preferences. In the Output and Sharing settings, click on the Save option. Check the box next to Embed Fonts in the file, and finally check Embed only the characters used in the presentation. Now, by default, PPT slide decks with custom fonts will take up much less file space. Inspired to try custom fonts? Well, once again, Envato Elements has you covered. As a subscriber, you have unlimited downloads of the vast library of custom fonts. These upgrade your PowerPoint style in a fast, elegant way. Try them out today. Last but not least, try and reduce the number of embedded charts and objects in your slide decks. A classic case is an embedded Excel chart. Since the data often links into Excel, these can really run up your file size. Showing a chart as an image is how to compress PowerPoint file size when you're working with embedded objects. In essence, you should try to use a screenshot of the chart instead. As you can see, I can add an Excel chart image on the slide, and I'm using the Insert tab to do it. Remember our earlier tip, using this option instead of drag and drop helps minimize the size. As you can see, there are plenty of great ways to reduce your PowerPoint file size way down. It comes down to reducing the sizes of the individual parts of your presentation. By avoiding large image files, saving as PDF, and reducing slide resolutions, you can save precious space. These help you build more flexible, shareable, and versatile slide decks. Before you go, don't forget to like this video. Then be sure to subscribe to the Envato Tuts Plus YouTube channel. There you'll find tutorials, content roundups, and so much more. I'm Andrew Childress for Envato Tuts Plus, and thanks so much for joining me.